Hi, I'm Scott with FDJtool.com and I've got a handy little tool here that is perfect for hand engraving. Why don't we show you some of its features? Alright, we've got a nice lightweight handy hand piece that is very comfortable to use and it also comes with an AC adapter that you plug into the wall for power. The adapter though has two switches on here which are very handy. One is a voltage control switch which allows you to select how much voltage the motor gets. And basically that just means how fast is it going to spin. When doing hand engraving we recommend dialing it all the way to 12 volts that way you get a maximum speed. The other switch here is marked polarity and basically all that means is you select which direction the handpiece is going to spin. Whether you're right handed or left handed can make a difference and we'll talk about that later. So set those ahead of time before you use your handpiece and it'll be ready to go. Now the handpiece itself is very easy to use. It's got an on off switch here on the back which I hope I don't have to explain to you. But it also has a silver button up here which allows you to change the collet on the handpiece. By depressing this you're able to then unscrew the top portion here and loosen it and you can put in, whoops, you can put in your diamond burr then tighten it by hand let go of the silver button and now it's locked in place and ready to go. So all you need to do now is plug in your adapter, plug this into the wall and we'll be ready to go. Let's try some engraving. Don't forget your glasses and your dust mask and we'll try out what our handpiece. All right, when holding the handpiece you can see that the front of it is tapered so that you can get a nice close grip with your fingers. Be careful not to press that silver button there, the one that disengages your collet because while it's spinning if you happen to do that then your burr won't spin and you might skip and mess up your design so just avoid that. Get it nice and comfortable and we'll start to engrave. Okay so let's try it out here. I'm going to turn on the hand piece and just make a few marks to give you an idea what it'll do. With a very light touch, you can make freehand designs quite easily. Now I wanted to point out that before I set up this handpiece, that I selected the polarity switch on the AC adapter, if you remember earlier. I selected it so that the burr spins counterclockwise as I'm looking at it, so that it's not pushing against the direction that I'm trying to do the work and I'll show that by turning it on again and watch as I hold it very lightly what happens. See how it wants to push the metal away? Well I did that because as right handed I have much better control over the design that I want to make. If I slip, flip the polarity switch the other way, and I'll do that just now, and turn it on, watch what happens. Because I'm right-handed, I have much harder control over where the burr goes. So that's why that's a nice feature to experiment with so that you can see which direction the spinning burr helps you do your engraving. So working freehand with the hand engraver is a great way to express uh, the creativity that you might have. Uh, we do recommend though that you hold it down very firmly with your hand or maybe tape it down with double-sided tape or even painters tape something that will hold it in place while you're while you're working it. So let's uh, try it out here. Unfortunately, I hadn't planned any design ahead of time, but with a little practice and you can develop a steady hand when following designs or doing something freehand, you can even take a Sharpie or other permanent pen and you can follow that design and see what happens. Let's see how good I am. Now 
well, not as good as I'd hoped, but following a design is, just takes a little bit of practice. You can even go over it a second time to make the, the engraving line a little bit deeper uh, to get more detail. I uh, don't know if I'm good on that. My hand's a little shaky right now, but let's see what we can do. Not too bad. You see that copper dust there, that's why we wear our safety glasses and dust masks, just to keep that away from our faces. And there you have it, our little handheld engraver.